Hi everyone. So this is a part two to the, the third party reading that I just did. So I was getting another message and I feel like it's going to be like a whole thing. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to go into it. Bear with me. The energy is so scattered. There's so many like messages coming through that I'm trying to sort through and I have these third parties trying to block the messages, but what I'm getting. Okay. So in that first reading, I'm just going to recap just a couple of the messages really quick. Not all of them, but I was getting that it's almost like this succubus spirit came in and blocked these two soulmates from being together. This this succubus might have been sent by like lower forces, like possibly some kind of negative spiritual forces sent this succubus spirit in is what I'm feeling. And I feel like she does try to, she pretends to embody divine feminine traits. So she pretends to be empathetic. She pretends to be caring. She pretends to be loving. But I feel like your person, I feel like this man can see through it. I think that he knows she's not genuinely empathetic. Like, I think that he can just kind of see through her. She can see that her empathy is more for show. It's more of a manipulation technique. Um, I feel like maybe she's pouty. She tries to be cutesy and pouty to get her way with him. She tries to, like, she drains him. She is a succubus spirit. But I almost feel like she's, um, I don't know if evolved succubus spirit is the right term, but she's not like a common succubus type spirit. It's like she, she really knows how to fake energy. She knows how to fake certain qualities to manipulate people and take advantage of their empathy and drain them. And I feel like it's almost caused confusion for him because her pretending to be an actual divine feminine energy almost it's like confuses him because then he's like, okay, well, she seems so empathetic and loving. How can I trust that this soulmate over here is is genuinely empathetic and loving too? How, how can I trust that this is real and that it's not just another manipulation technique that, it, you know, it's like it, she's really kind of damaging his trust more and more in people. Um, and making him doubt himself, doubt his intuition. She's kind of taking him off a spiritual path because she's not a very spiritual person. I think she might use sex to her advantage to get what she wants from him. She's not very evolved. She's not very spiritual. I'm going to recap just real quick. Just bear with me. I'm not, not everything. There's a lot more information in that video that you need to see that, you know, if, if this is your story, I'd recommend watching it because there was something about her lack of empathy being revealed to him. Her true characteristics are going to be revealed. His spirit guides are protecting him. They're making sure that he cannot put the blindfold on anymore. He has to see this woman's true colors. He's going to be forced to see this woman's true colors. He can't hide from it anymore. Um, but it's like this, this third party karmic creates this illusion that he can have everything he ever wanted with her or she tries to create that illusion or she tries to pretend to be his actual soulmate she tries to embody those characteristics but it's not real it's it's just an illusion it's just a fantasy um or it's like things that she knows that he wants he tries to like she's very fake she'll go along with that to make him happy and I almost feel like this is not, not for all of you, but I almost feel like, and again, gender is irrelevant here. So it could be, this could be three men, three women, two men, one woman, just take it as it resonates. You know, there's whatever, if I say he, but you know, it's a, she just, you know, however it fits. Um, but for most, I think it's probably two women, two women and one man. And I almost feel like this third party woman, this toxic woman is actually connected to this man's soulmate. I almost feel like she's actually not even connected to him. So let me like, so, so basically there's like these two soulmates that were coming together, but it was complicated. Um, and this man took the easy way out. He fell for this illusion that this toxic, low vibrational succubus type spirit, this third party was you know, that there was something there and there's not. And he's realizing that now he's realizing he's seeing her true colors now. So in most of these cases, that would be a karmic situation where this would be like a, like this, this third party would be a karmic of his. I'm actually getting for this energy group that she's actually not connected to him. She's connected to, to you. She's connected to this woman she's connected to this man's true love. Does that make sense? I'm trying to trying to explain the roles here. So it's like there is a soulmate couple, this succubus type spirit came in 
and distracted him from that. Um, presented this illusion that she could be everything this other woman is, that she could give him everything that she that he wants, you know, just very fake energy. Um, but I almost feel like for her on a spiritual level, probably not on a conscious level, on a conscious level, she might have feelings for this man. But on a spiritual level, I feel like she was actually sent in by negative forces or negative spirits or energies to hurt this woman. I feel like she's connected to this woman from a past life. I don't think she had any past lives with this man. He's just collateral damage. She's actually connected to this woman and her goal is to hurt this woman. Again, this isn't for all of you, but for like 70% of you, 70 or 80% of you that are in this energy group, I think this is, there's something really weird going on here spiritually and we're going to look into it. Let me say that. <laughs> um, what is this? What is this past life? Tell me about this woman. Tell me about the, the these two women. How are they connecting? Weird. Okay. Past life. Past life. Six of Cups is the past. Childhood. Past life. Eight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, a female earth sign involved here, possibly for some. Whew. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Bear with me, guys. Okay, I'm seeing two different storylines here. For some... And this man might be aware of this because this woman might almost present a masculine energy at times. That, oh God, this is so weird. This is such a weird storyline. Um, how do I explain this energy? Uh, okay. I'm trying to word this properly. Okay, there's a woman here who's a queen of pentacles. There's a or there's a woman here who's let me see. Sorry. No, it might not be the Queen of Pentacles, actually. Or I feel like she could have been the Queen of Pentacles in the past life. Let me, let me, sorry, bear with me. Let me explain this. Um, so this man is collateral damage. She's, it's not about being with him. On a conscious level, she is obsessed with him. There's lust. Her soul is not in love with him. Her soul, there is no soul connection between this man that she's dating or that she's trying to pursue. There is no soul connection there. There is no past life connection there. There's no psychic connection there. There's no emotional depth. There's no real draw to him. There's, it's obsession. It's lust. He's also collateral damage because she wants to hurt this woman. She wants to hurt this other woman. She wants to hurt his true soulmate. So again, I think he was on the path to getting to know his true soulmate. Like we got that in the other reading, but it was complicated and he didn't take the time to study her, to know her, to really find out what she was about. So nine of cups reversed. It's like there could have been a wish fulfillment, but there wasn't a wish fulfillment because he didn't put the time and effort into finding out more about her. He didn't go down that path. He took the easy way out because it was like the shiny new toy. This woman showed up out of nowhere and distracted him and took his attention away and this man doesn't like to be by himself he doesn't like to he doesn't like to have to sit at home alone he likes to he likes to be distracted he likes to distract himself with people he doesn't like to be in his head too much um he he does get in his head a lot but he he tries to distract himself um she's basically just a distraction Again, on a soul level, maybe not on a conscious level, but on a soul level, what's going on in the astral realm and the spiritual realm, it's not about being with this man. It's not, it's, it's more, she wanted to come in. She saw that these two soulmates energetically had found each other in the physical. They had manifested each other. They had come into each other's lives. There was potential there for them to be a power couple, for them to be together. If he were to put the effort into getting to know her, um, that there was something real there. There was something solid there. And this succubus spirit, this, this toxic third party karmic, this crazy, this crazy ass bitch, um, 
felt it energetically because she's connected to this other woman. Um, it doesn't have to be a queen of pentacles, whoever it is, she's connected to some other woman, to this other woman from a past life. So her mission, when she came in, she had a spiritual mission basically to try to mess this woman's life up, to try to get this man away from this woman. Again, she's spiritually attacking this woman and she's going for what's most important to her. This woman has been trying to manifest her true love probably for months or years and it finally happened. It finally happened for her. This, Her true love was finally right in front of her face in the physical realm. They had manifested each other. It was, it was coming. It was starting to slowly come together. So again, this, this third party karmic felt that energy and she's like, oh, I'm going to get her where it hurts. I'm going to target her love life. That's what's going to cause her the most pain. That's what's going to hurt her the most. That's what's going to mess her up the most. For some, for, how do I explain this? For some, this woman has a masculine spirit, this third party karmic, this toxic feminine has a, a masculine spirit and she was this woman's lover in a past life, but it was like, she was like a male in her past life. She actually, she chose for whatever reason to be a woman in this life, but in most of her past lives, she's actually been a male. Um, and again, there's no gender, just take it as it resonates. It, it doesn't have to be a male, but whatever. Um, but she was actually possibly this woman's um, lover in a past life. And so she was betrayed, she was left behind, or she chose someone else over her in that past life. And she wants revenge for what happened in that past life. So now she wants to make this woman feel abandoned and hurt because she abandoned her in the past life and hurt her in the past life. Are you guys following? I know it's kind of a weird, complicated story. But basically what I'm saying is that the man is collateral damage. It's not about the man for, for, for this woman. It's this, it's a, it's about separating this woman that she's pissed off at from her true love. And she's doing that by dating this man so that he's distracted and he's confused and he's not listening to his intuition and he's not following his heart towards his actual true love. Um, yeah, it's like for some, it's like she was rejected. So now she wants to make sure you feel rejected in, in this life. This could even be a spirit that's almost using this woman as like a vessel. Like it might almost be like using this, this, this spirit might even just be like using this, this karmic as a vessel just to, to bring this karmic in to just like fuck with your love life, basically. Um, for others, I feel like in the past life, maybe you guys were sisters or you were like close friends. And I feel like in that life, I feel like you got everything. You were the queen of pentacles in that lifetime. You were successful. You were rich. You were abundant. You could have even been an actual queen in that life. And I feel like this woman that you were friends with was like a peasant or they were like, <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I get of swords. I'm getting like sickness, possibly like past life, like illness or something as well. Like they might've not been physically well, but but in that past life they were in this eight of swords energy like they 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 were in poverty they were trapped they were stuck they it could have been like one of those friendships where it's like you had so much more than this woman and she was so selfish and and bitter and jealous that she couldn't stand seeing you have more than her so now in this lifetime, she's like, she's like, screw you. I'm going to take what's yours. I'm going to take, you know, you took everything from me that life or you had everything that I deserved in that life or something of that sort. Um, I feel like this woman is not a good person. And I feel like she had bad karma in that life, but she doesn't want to acknowledge that that was her bad karma. She's looking at that past life and she's just like, and again, probably not physically, she's probably not conscious of this past life, but it's more what's going on on like an energetic psychic level. Her soul is aware of it. Her soul is very bitter about it. Her spirit, she has a very bitter spirit, a very jealous, very toxic spirit. And she's like, for whatever it was, whether you rejected her or whether you just had more than she did, she's like, you got so much in that past life. You had everything I deserved. Why not me? You know, um, 
And so she's like seeing you actually re re like, you know, coming into the physical with your soulmate and she intervened. She's like, I'm going to come in. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to take this from her. I'm going to, um, everything that you could have had with him, I'm going to make sure, you know, he has it with me instead and that you have to see it. You have to see what you could have, what you could have had with him. I'm going to have it instead. I'm going to, I'm going to pretend to be you. I'm going to pretend to embody your energy. I'm, I'm going to confuse this man so that, um, he doesn't go towards his destiny, but she can't, she can't any longer. And she's getting pissed. I can feel her energy. It's, it's almost like, I just feel this block. I feel like, I don't know. I almost feel like they've been arguing or like, like the past like day or two, they might've been arguing. Like they might've gotten in a bad argument or she got really pissed about something. Cause she's like, I just feel like anger, like pure rage from her because she knows that he's pulling away. And I think she knows intuitively that he's coming towards you and there's nothing she's going to be able to do to stop that. Tell me more about this past life, about this energy. Hierophant, Seven of Swords. Hangman, Page of Swords. What is this trying to say? What is this energy? Hold on. The higher font, the Seven of Wands, reversed. Tell me about that. Eight of Cups, walking away, the Hermit. Something was taken from her in a past life, but it was like divinely taken because the higher font can be traditions, can be spiritual authority. You know, you see this man and it's like he's got like this spiritual power. It can be like organizations, social institutions. Something of wands upright would be someone setting boundaries, standing their guard, but it's like reverse. So it's almost like she couldn't stand her ground. She wasn't able to stand her ground because I feel like something was court ordered. It was ordered by higher authorities, whether it was like actual the legal court system or whether it was spirit guides, whether it was karma. She was destined to lose something that she really wanted in a past life. So either she lost you in a past life or she, um, she might have just, okay, so this might be a situation where you've been with this man in your past lives. You guys are like, you could be like the queen and king of pentacles, um, just in the sense of like being loyal and stable and grounded, like be a very strong power couple. But I'm, I'm feeling like this energy of um, maybe like in this past life. How do I explain what I'm feeling here? I feel like you were chosen for something over her. You were chosen for a job. You were chosen for this love offer, for this commitment. Could even be like an arranged marriage. And I feel like you could have been like the older sister or you could have been... Um, you had like a higher status than she did. Again, you have more spiritual power than she did. You're the, in the last reading, it's like, we're getting that this woman is like the high priestess. She's powerful. She's intuitive. She's spiritual. Um, this other third party karmic is very toxic. She can only pretend to embody those traits. She doesn't have true empathy. She's not truly spiritual. She's not truly intuitive. Um, she, it's like, she's like an imposter. She's, she's fake. You know what I mean? It's like, she doesn't, she, she doesn't know what she's doing. It's like, she might, she could try to pretend to be spiritual or into that kind of thing, but it, it's like, she doesn't have true spiritual power. She doesn't know how to channel. She doesn't know how to connect with spirit guides. You know what I mean? It's more for show. It's more for her image. It's like she likes the aesthetic of spirituality, possibly for some, but but she's not truly genuinely spiritual. But um, anyway, I feel like in this past life, it's like you were just chosen. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates because for some, for some, I feel like you were the person she wanted to be with and you chose someone else over her. You chose your true soulmate over her. 
for others, I feel like this man was brought into your life in a past life and it could even been like an arranged marriage or it's like you had like a high social status and so did he and you guys ended up together and this woman was of lower social status but she wanted him she wanted to be in your place but she had no social she had no soul connection to him you know what I mean it's like you were divinely brought together with this soulmate in your past lives and um or this specific past life at least that I'm channeling but it's like, because I'm just seeing like an arranged marriage, but it's like a divinely arranged marriage, like a spiritually arranged marriage. Like it might have been arranged in the sense that like, you know, if you guys were a king and queen from other, you know, areas or whatever, it's like you guys were brought together or you had some kind of high social status, maybe not necessarily king and queen, but you, there was, there was some kind of benefit to this marriage, but I feel like it was divinely led, like this actually was a soul connection, you know, like even if it was arranged, it's like as you guys got to know each other, you saw that it was like actually your spirit guides that brought this together. Or it could even just be that it was just simply like you guys had similar social status. It's like there was some kind of benefit to you two being together, but you guys really fell in love in that past life and you had a genuine, like you guys realized that you're soulmates, you know what I mean? Like you guys were genuinely happy and genuinely in love with each other. And I feel like, I feel like this woman just was not as, as high ranking as you are, as this other woman is. I feel like she just, she didn't like, especially socially or ec like economically, like maybe like, you know, financially, it's like she would just was not as high ranking as you. Um, and so she wanted this man for the wrong reasons. Like you genuinely were in love with him, whether it was arranged or not, or there was some kind of social benefit to you two being together. That was only like the icing on the cake. I mean, you genuinely wanted to be in the, like with this man, you know, you guys were genuinely in love. You, you loved him for the right reasons. She wanted to be with this man simply because she was tired of, of seeing you be more financially abundant than her. You might probably had a better home than she did. You had more opportunities than she did. Again, just higher social status. And she didn't like that. Um, so to her, this man was almost property, which is really interesting because I almost feel like this lifetime too, she kind of treats this man as property. She wants to control him. She wants to possess him. She wants to own him. She, she wants to get something out of him. She's still viewing him as property. She's still viewing him that way. She's obsessed with him. She's not in love with this man, not even this lifetime. She's obsessed with him. There's a difference. But, um, yeah, it, it's like, I think in this past life, when this man came in, it's, it's like, oh, hell no. Like she, she can't have something else that I can't have. Like she can't. It's like, why does she get like this jealousy, you know? Um, why does she get everything and I get nothing? Why does why does she get to get married and I have to I have to work or I have to do this? Like, why does she get this man and not me? So again, she never loved this man. She just wanted this man because this woman had him and she wanted to hurt her and take it jealousy. She just wanted to take what she had. Um You know, again, to her, it's like this man was just another object, just something for just, 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 just a means to an end. Like, just how, like, how dare you have him? How dare you have someone that I can't have? You know, she just didn't want to see you happy. She was very bitter. Again, it could be a sister, could be like a, could be a, like a frenemy type from your past life. But yeah, it's so interesting because it's like I'm getting that in this lifetime again. It's like this this woman is coming in to try to cause issues for you again, to try to block you from being with your your person again. She's again, she's not really she's not genuinely in love with him. She wants to control him. She wants to force a relationship to hurt you, to hurt this other woman. She wants to she wants to be like, "Ha, huh, like you got him last lifetime, but this lifetime I'm getting him like, like it's, it's like, he's not property, you know? And he's starting to feel this energy. He's this King of Pentacles is starting to sense this. Like, damn, this woman like, isn't like, I thought she cared about me, but like, she's more just, she doesn't want to be alone. She's jealous. She's insecure. She's, she wants to control me. She wants ownership of me. She doesn't want to let me be my own person. 
like he's recognizing these things in her. So he might not be aware of the past life, but he's at least aware of, you know, to some degree of this energy of like, wait, what is this? Like what, like what is wrong with you? Like what's wrong with this bitch? She's crazy. Um, yeah, something was like spiritually taken from her. It was like divinely ordered. It was not meant for her. And she was just always so bitter and angry that it wasn't, it's not even about what the thing was. It was just, she was just pissed that it wasn't, was meant for you and not for her. Yeah. Cause you had the 10 of cups with this man, the world. Yeah. Yeah. For some, it could have been what this man was connected to as well. So this man, like, let's say that, let's say that you were like the older sister and you were, um, maybe you were like of high social status, but this man was even higher socially than you were. It, it could be like everything that was connected to this man. It's, it's like, maybe this man had a lot of money, um, Maybe this man had like a lot of money or status or power. And at first you probably were like, well, I don't know him. I don't want to be in this arranged marriage. But then you fell in love with him for the right reasons. You didn't care about the money or the power or any of it. You just genuinely fell in love with him, with each other for the right reasons. But to her, to this, to this younger sister or this friend or whoever this was that feels like she missed the opportunity... She was looking at him like, damn, I would have never had to work a day in my life again if I had gotten that offer instead. If I had moved in with him and, and gone to live in this other, you know, uh, air, like, like he might have come and gotten you and like taken, like I'm seeing like a wagon, like in like old times, like he might have come and gotten you and like, like you went to live with him somewhere where life wasn't as hard, like you didn't have to work as hard, like he took care of you, like he's like a provider type, a protector type. You know, um, and so I think this younger sister in that past life was always jealous and always bitter and always upset because she's like, that could have been me. Like, it wasn't about him. It wasn't about his soul. There was no soul connection between them. But she was just like, I think she spent the rest of her life like having to work hard and not getting that kind of opportunity. And she was pissed about it. She's like, well, my sister is like living it, living it up over here. Like she's got financial security. She's taken care of. Um, and I'm sure he probably helped her family financially to some extent too, but it was like, she, she still had to work or she still, there was just a lot connected to this man basically is what I'm feeling. There was so much, it wasn't just love. It was like, there's so much that you got from being like, from being with this man, it was like, there's some kind of financial security or a home or like a family like, um, like a legacy. It's like you guys built something together. Like there was so much that was connected to this man for you that you guys had together, this abundance that you guys had that you built together, um, this security that you had. And I think this younger sister, it's like, she never forgot it. She had to work hard the rest of her life. Um, If you guys would come to visit, she would like see that you were getting all the things that she wishes, wishes she could have. You know what I mean? Um, this, it's just something of that nature. And again, it's like you genuinely had love for this man. You didn't care about that. You didn't care that he was wealthy. You were just happy just being with him. You guys were just so deeply in love. But she, she never cared about that. She never cared about the love aspect. She's just like, oh, she has money now. She has they have a family together. I, I had never got a family. I never got to stop working. Like there's just some kind of, some kind of bitterness that like stayed with her the rest of her life. And now she's like coming back to try to f fuck it up for you basically. Um, yeah, damn. Hmm. Okay. I sure wrap this up. I know these readings have been pretty long. <laughs> uh, I think that's why she wants to rub it in your face this lifetime too. Like I'm getting everything that you guys were meant to build together. I'm going to build it with him instead. And I think he's realizing this man is, is not repeating that. He's not doing that. He's seeing that 
He's realizing her intentions. He has some, like, this man is psychic. He does have intuitive abilities. So he might not be aware of his past lives, but he is aware of some kind of dark or negative intention coming from this woman. He's like, there's some kind of control issue. There's something here that, like, makes me feel trapped with this woman. I don't like this energy. Like, he's sensing something's off with her even if he can't put his finger on it and I think he's recognizing there's no there's no past life soul connection with her like there's nothing real there again the past life soulmate connection was always with you not with her um but I think yeah it, it's it's like it's like this legacy and you guys are meant to build a legacy together again this lifetime you're meant to build something together something really beautiful that's going to help people or you're meant to do there's certain things you're meant to do together this lifetime too and she wants to pretend to be the person that he should do those things with the person that he can build with but yeah it's like he doesn't want that he's seeing through it and he's like no I think this other woman I think my actual soulmate is the one I should be building with not not this toxic third party let's wrap it up any final messages on this Things have been stagnant, but this block is being removed. This true queen of cups is going to have that ten of cups, that true love, the abundance. Like, I do feel like this man is awakening. He is recognizing these. Um, He's becoming spiritually aware of these things, and he's coming towards his actual true love. He's going to have some kind of epiphany why there wasn't wish fulfillment here in the past and what he needs to do to make that better. I feel like they're going to be letting go of burdens together. Why the Nine of Swords? I feel like he may be going through a spiritual awakening. He needs he needs to let go of his pride and ego because it's it's like there's meant to be a spiritual awakening here. He's meant to get into that King of Pentacles energy. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this out since this is already so long, but thank you guys for watching and let me know what you want to see on here too. I need to, I know I need to do some self-empowerment readings for you guys. Like you've requested some financial readings. Um, maybe I'll come back with some more love readings soon as well. Just, just let me know. Uh, and I appreciate your comments and your support. Thanks.